Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about creating a customized material in Katia. If uh, you know from uh, part design videos that I uh, talked about applying material, you know that the uh, library in Katia is um, quite a bit uh, limited, right? So here is one part, and let's say if I go here and go under others because I want to apply a plastic, then you see that the only thing I have is this general material called plastic. So if, let's say, I want to apply a 3D printed plastic like PLA, ABS or something, I don't have them here, right? I have some general metal, general fabric, general construction, wood, stone, and so on. But under others, as I said, there is not really a ton of specific plastics. So if I want this part to be made of, let's say, PLA plastic, how can I do that? Well, the secret to that is to go to um, infrastructure and then go to the material library. And here you can create a new material by this command, or you can create a, an entire family of material. So you can create a material, a new family called um, uh, the 3D printer, printer plastics, right? So you can create that, or you can delete it, or under this new specific family, as I said, you can create what? You can create the... Um, specific material so here this is a new family of plastics i can rename it instead of new family as i said i can call it 3d printing right plastics and this new material also you can call it something else so maybe i would call this guy pla or polylactic acid and now uh, I have to provide the properties of that, right? So this PLA, if I go to its properties, I can um, edit the name of it, which I already did. Under analysis, you can change the mechanical properties, right? Young modulus, Poisson's ratio, density, yield, strength, and thermal expansion. So here I did a simple Google search, and this uh, paper in 2016 uh, seems like a uh, good resource for um, physical and mechanical properties of PLA. So I can uh, trust this paper from Elsevier, which is published from MIT. And uh, if you go down here under this table, you see lots of uh, different properties of PLA are provided, Al although PLA does not have really a single number for most of this. It really depends on who is making it and it, uh, all sorts of uh, basically ingredients. But if we accept this as a single number, you see like, for example, the yield strength, right, which is one of the numbers, is 70 megapascals. So I can come here and type it. The Young Modulus, right, or the Elastic Modulus, as you can see, it is uh, 3,500. So we can type it in. Then we have Poisson's Ratio, which I guess it was 0.36. Somewhere I cite, yes, it is 0.36. I have a Density, which is here, Solid Density, as you can see, uh, 1,252 in kilogram per a meter cubed as this one is 1252 and uh, these are these properties the other property needs is thermal expansion which I did not see it here so I just searched for it and it gives the number 68 micro right meter per meter which is just gonna be basically 68 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by degrees of Celsius and since it change in degrees of Celsius is the same as degrees in Kelvin. So uh, that's going to be the same thing. So this 68 microns, which is like this. 
So these are the material properties, and then you have to say whether it's isotropic, it's orthotropic, or something. So for the moment, we treat it for simplicity as an isotropic material. If there are composites, you can draw the composites, and you can have specific hatching lines and styles for the drafting of it if you do a cross-section. So let's just for the moment say these are good. The other thing you can change is the rendering of it, okay? Uh, what kind of uh, material is that? Is it an architectural material? Is it a polished metal? Is it a brush metal? Is it a glass kind of thing? Is it a polished plastic, soft plastic, and so on? So definitely um, the PLAs, I would say, that you see uh, could be considered... Uh, the ones that I work with, they are relatively polished, I would say. So I can say it's a polished plastic. And then here, you can change different properties. The diffuse color, the diffuse level, the reflection color, the reflectivity, and some other things, right? So uh, you can change those properties, right? So uh, here, you can see the diffuse color. You can go here and change it. And there are all sorts of colors. So let's say for the moment, I assume that the color is white, right? Although there are different colors of PLA, even there is multicolor. And there is diffuse level, how much it is going to diffuse the light, right? So you can decide on that. And what is the reflection color, reflectivity, and so on and so forth, right? So if... Uh, they are good, and in uh, this this paper, it talks a little bit about some of the uh, optical features of it, like the amount of reflection, transmission, the LAB color space, which is device independent, right, the thermal conductivity, and so on. So once you specify all of these properties, you apply and you OK that, and now you have this material, and then before you do anything else, you want to do a save and it is going to be saved as .cad material. And I'm going to call it PLA, and I save it, right? So now, when I go to this part, and I want to apply material to it, I can go ahead and then what? When I click on Apply Material, instead of these, I open that specific library that I saved, and I say, bring that PLA, Select it, apply it to the part, and now if I render it with material, you see that this is that plastic. Okay, so this is what I have. It is that PLA plastic. Now, it is not really perfectly white, and that is because of the um, uh, lighting that I have here, but... Um, if you change the lighting property, it should show itself as white, but definitely the physical properties of it are what we have. And if you click here and click on the part, you definitely see the density 1252 is exactly the number that you have provided here, right? And uh, the other things, if you go to stress analysis, the numbers that we entered for Young Modulus Poisson Ratio, yield string, they all will be used, as I said, when you take it to what? To this structural analysis. All of those numbers will be used in here. So, um, this is in general what you can do to create a customized material. Hopefully this video was useful to you. I will see you in my next video. Thank you.